New question. So, if you had somebody that had detachable limbs, like a Frankenstein situation, but they were still conscious enough to, like, think and have cognitive thought with their head detached, could they move their muscles like that? How would that work? Ah, uh, well, I mean, what technically, I think body? the head's probably the only part that could move, saying, like, it was a Frankenstein situation with detachable limbs. Because once you remove the head, then there's nothing powering the rest of the body. Saying that all the body works, I mean, yeah, I guess, okay, technically. Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. But, like, if they ate, where would the food go? Would it just fall out of their esophagus? I mean, I guess, technically, if they weren't stitched up properly. Huh. A lot of confusing things about zombies. They're biologically impossible. Why we don't see them here? No, that's the scary part. Is they're biologically slightly possible? No, not really. <laughs> well, okay, I guess they kind of are. There is something called a, uh, I think it was a zombie fungus, where uh, it literally just took over and controlled the host of an ant. And uses it to spread its spores, kind of like Cordyceps and Last of Us. But the only thing is, is that it only works on ants because they have a really weak um, nervous system, an autoimmune system, and all that. So it would never work on humans, and I don't think we can create a strand that's strong enough to work on humans. But it, I mean, it would be weird. That'd be neat. Zombie apocalypse would be pretty neat. Like, what happens if we just try to live with them? There was a concept that I saw online a while back of like, uh, it was zombies and they acted like how they normally do in media and how they're portrayed, except for if they're presented with flowers or there are flowers within the vicinity, they become extremely docile. And so everybody just starts, um, like, planting flowers together. And like all the safe zones are just filled to the brim with flowers and then all that cool stuff. That raises a good question. Instead of trying to destroy them entirely, what would happen if we just tried to coexist? Like uh, we just kept like all of them in one area like Arkham City. You know? I think that would kind of be a, like a bit of an idiotic idea, like what would be the purpose, but I like, it kind of reminds me of what Dead Rising 2 did. Uh, where after they kind of like got society, they turned killing zombies into game shows where it was like, who can oh, kill yeah, the most? Like yeah. And then there was a bunch of activists who were like, let's save them. That's probably what would happen if zombies happened in real life. That's true, but like. Okay, Walking Dead poses a good question. So, the creator of The Walking Dead said that his interpretation- Damn, there's a lot of zombie media. We've been talking about different zombie media that is going through all of them. We've talked about Last of Us, I'm about to talk about Walking Dead, Dead Rising, a piece of random media I found. Porn. Look, zombies are pretty overused, huh? Anywho. Uh, but the creator of The Walking Dead said uh, zombies just continuously rot. That's why they get less and less human as the series goes on. To the point where they're literally rotting off of the bone. So the thing is, is after... It only takes, like, a body to... It only takes, like, six months for a body to decompose. Is that right? I might be getting something wrong. But, like... There's a point where there's only so much decomposition to where they're physically unable to move. Like, they don't have any muscle fibers or, uh, like, anything left to actually power the body or move it at all. No muscle left. So then... What... What... Like... If we just waited, like, a certain amount of time, the zombie apocalypse would be completely over. Like, those, there can't be enough humans to constantly supply, like, a new strain of them, right? Unless they are just constantly regenerating, which is a scary thought, and that's, I guess, why they need food, but... I don't know, it's just, it's just a weird thought.